Hello, my creatives. Thank you for joining me at the craft table. I'm Elena, your crochet sensei, and in this video, we're going to learn how to single crochet in the back loop. We are going to use a worsted weight yarn and also a size H8 5 millimeter hook. So to single crochet in the back loop, you want to have your starting chain. And in this beginner crochet video series, we are making squares. As you can see, we have our half double crochet square. There's a video for that. Our front post double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet video tutorial. So we're just going to chain and we want the square to be the a similar size to the ones uh, we already started making, which is about 30, 28 or 30 stitches so we're going to make 32 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 19 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so i have 32 so i'm just going to single crochet my base my first row just going to single crochet across if you miss any of these videos feel free to check them out they're really easy fun quick you can replay them over and over so to start any project you just chain however many you need and uh, look out for my videos on how to measure gauge and create gauge swatches so you get the perfect fit every time when working a sweater or something you want to fit really well so we are going to the end of the row so here we are at the end of our row one our setup row so we're going to chain one to finish the row and then turn now we have to work our single crochets in the back loop so if you see this beautiful little braid here and uh, this is what the crochet community would call the front side and this is the back side so we have two loops on top here and uh, the one closer to you is called the front loop and the one further from you is called the back loop so to work in the back loop we're just going to work in this first one the same one we chained in we're going to just put our hook in the back loop only not through both loops like we're used to doing back loop only yarn over pull through yarn over pull through both of them back uh, we're going to just crochet in the back loop and continue that across so put your hook into the back loop only yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two single crocheting in the back loop only this is a decorative stitch you can make beautiful designs out of this stitch and it creates this beautiful ridge here So put your hook into the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and continue doing this to the end. So here we are, I've worked a few rows of the single crochet in the back loop and this is what the pattern looks like. So you can see these sweet ridges, this is the front, front side of the work and this is the back side. You can see there's a front loop ridge across so again to finish the row you just chain and sing, since we're working single crochets you just need to chain one if you're working double crochets you would chain two on your turning row and just continue 
working so since you're going to make a square you need to work 30 rows 30 stitches by 30 rows will give you a square and then uh, check out my tutorials on how to do a single crochet border and there's a little neat tip in there on how to work your corners so they lay flat now here's a question for you did you have a hard time working this stitch please let me know in the comments and also if you have any other stitches or tutorials you'd like to see please let me know thank you for watching subscribe to my channel like this video and share with your friends so they too can unleash the creative within